Hi, I, I'm Bill, Bill O'Bear. I'm the, uh, one of the owners of Bear Path Compost, which is formerly Bear Path Farm. Uh, our main uh, activity here is, is making compost for, uh, for use in gardens and farms and nurseries and, and those sorts of things. We've been in business for, this will be our 20th year and we produce about 2,000 cubic yards of compost a year. Uh, if you can visualize your normal size refrigerator, that's about two cubic yards for pe people who aren't familiar with volume. Um, we start with uh, various raw materials, or we call them feedstocks in the industry. We, we take material that's, that's high in nitrogen, in this case dairy manure. We also do a little bit of food waste. We, we compost the food waste from the town of Waitley and the elementary school. And we, we take these high nitrogen materials and, picks, uh, and mix them with materials that are high in carbon, like horse bedding, leaves, old hay, and we're also starting to work with short paper fiber, which, a, which is a, a waste product of the paper industry. So we, we mix these materials into, uh, we have a recipe, we mix them thoroughly, and then we put them into what we're going to call, these are all called windrows out here. Um, so these are compost windrows where the material is ultimately deposited. It sits for a couple of weeks or so, and then we go through what's called a turning cycle. And when we turn it with our, with our big front end loader out there, it mixes the material, aerates it, adds oxygen, and the aerobic bacteria that are in there start to increase and multiply essentially exponentially, ultimately starting out at you know, ambient temperature and getting up to not, uh, as high as you know, 140 degrees. And in those temperature thresholds, uh, weed seeds are destroyed as are pathogens. And uh, that's how we make it pretty much. What I might show you here is, and we can get a shot in there too. That's our storage area. This is greasy manure. Nobody would like to see this dumped in their driveway, right? This is after it's been turned into compost. It basically smells like soil. It's great as a, as a, it's a, basically a soil amendment. It's not it's not a, a, a in lieu of soil product. You use it as an amendment. You mix it in with the soil. You can use it as a top dressing in, in perennial beds, or you know around trees and shrubs, and or or again incorporated in the soil for uh, both nutrients, uh, water retention, and all, also all the beneficial microbes that are that are in there. Uh, a teaspoon of that's going to have well over a million microbes that are very useful for the soil and in plants. Shall we walk around a little bit? We, we uh, after our, our, our compost, we just finished turning this last week, this windrow here. Ultimately, this is going to get run through a manure spreader to break up clumps, homogenize this, and then we put our surplus in here for sale directly to customers who either help themselves or we load their trucks as we did one this morning or load it in our dump truck and take it off to wherever it's going. We, we deliver to over 50 different towns in, in, in the Pioneer Valley. You know, I have customers who are people who say, well, what, uh, you don't do anything wintertime, right? No, we're, we're active all winter. We're, we're mixing, we're, we're, we're turning material. In January, we turned a bunch of windrows. And it's not dependent on, I mean, we could, it could be zero out here and you could still have the interior of a, of a windrow 120, 130 degrees. And the reason being is it's, as I tell people, it's like, you know, the, the microbes, they're the tiny, tiny little creatures, and they, they live off of carbon and, 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 for, and, and also some you know, protein as well. So they're, they're constantly breaking things down, and then they expand in numbers uh, exponentially. You know, literally, there's zillions in these uh, untold numbers in, in these windrows. And uh, if, you, if you take all these tiny little bodies, and they're all eating things and giving off heat, just like we're, we're 98.6. They're, they, they're cumulatively creating a, a tremendous amount of heat, which ends up uh, eventually working its way out of the windrow. And in the process, it de destroys weed seeds and, and, and kills pathogens. So, and, and, they're, and they're actually very good, good for, uh, for the soil and for, and for plants. Normally, these windrows would be a little hotter. After we do some turning, they will. Um, and uh, <laughs> I 
So if, if you can get a shot of this, uh, this temperature gauge is reading about 106 degrees. And what is it outside now? 48, 47. So it's quite a bit higher. Once this gets turned, the temperature is going to go up. And you might be able to see some of the heat in here, but Mike's going to dig into it. See that? Can you get that? Yep, we got it. And uh, when he turns it, there'll probably be a big plume. And this is actually not terribly hot. Uh, sometimes it, there's so much steam coming out that I, I have to wait a second for it to clear to see what I'm going to do. <laughs> so why don't, you, why don't you take a little bite in here well, over there somewhere, Mike, see what happens. see it's pretty hot <laughs> and uh, this is in the very early stages of composting this this product won't be available till late summer early fall or something like that well, we'll be, we've got you know an, a few more turnings before it's actually ready and interestingly enough as this as we turn this material it, it actually shrinks we have about a, 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 a about a 45 to 50 percent reduction in volume from start to finish and actually what we're doing is giving off uh the the the, the material is broken down as these little creatures metabolize it they exhale carbon dioxide just like we do so in a sense this is giving off a lot of carbon dioxide but it's no different than if this material was spread on on a field somewhere and um and and just naturally broke uh, broke was broken down by 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 soil microorganisms now one thing that we are doing is we we are judiciously composting some materials that would end up in landfills like a little bit of food waste we do more but there is a tends to be a trash problem with that and we are starting to work with short paper fiber which is which is a result of recycled paper and it ending up in the um uh, would, would normally end up in landfills. So, this material, that those sorts of materials, if they end up in landfills, they actually produce methane gas from anaerobic bacteria, which is 23 times more potent than carbon dioxide. So, it's much better to compost it than just bury it somewhere. And that's pretty much what we do. We we make compost. We have lots of people buying it. And um, about seven months from start to finish. You deliver. Oh yeah. You deliver. <laughs> We deliver all over, but you know, as I said, uh, we, we've been to over 50 different towns, and we have people coming. We have people call from the eastern part of the state, but we just don't go out that way. We, we maybe go as far south as Springfield, and we have about a 25 mile an hour, mile radius.